are we really about to head back to the wizarding world of Harry Potter? According to an anonymous report by We Got This Covered, it could be a possibility. The outlet, citing anonymous sources, claims that the studio is developing a brand new Harry Potter movie featuring the three original stars, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grant. The purported project is an adaptation of the stage play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, written by Jack Thorne from a story he wrote with J.K. Rowling and two-time Tony Award-winning theater director John Tiffany. Given the stage play's success, it's not out of the realm of reality that Warner Brothers would want to make big bucks with a feature film adaptation. However, we can puncture quite a few holes in this rumor. For starters, this isn't the first time we've heard reports that Warner Brothers wants to turn Harry Potter and the Cursed Child into a film. In August 2016, just two months after the play began its London previews, New York Daily News ran an article claiming that Warner Brothers was interested in adapting the play for the silver screen in a project that would debut as soon as 2020. The studio was said to have hoped that Radcliffe would board the film to reprise his most famous role. This report started a hot fire of speculation that began burning up social media. In September 2016, Warner Brothers representatives issued a statement debunking the rumor. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is a stage play with no plans for there to be a film. Additionally, there's the issue of whether Radcliffe, Watson, and Grint would genuinely want to come back to the franchise. In a 2018 interview with The Guardian, Grint said, It was nice to breathe the fresh air, and now I'm really enjoying stepping further away from that blue screen world. That doesn't exactly inspire a lot of confidence in the idea that Grint would be willing to come back to the Harry Potter universe for another movie. For his part, Radcliffe has said that he's not really interested in appearing again as Harry Potter. It also seems like he's done with the character in more ways than one. In November 2018, Radcliffe admitted that he had no intention of ever watching Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, since he would feel like he was being monitored for his reaction. Those comments pose an important question. If Radcliffe doesn't even want to see the play, why would he want to be in a film adaptation of it? Unsurprisingly, Watson has taken a similar stance as her Potter co-stars on the matter. Asked during a SiriusXM interview if she would ever return to the Wizarding World, Watson answered, Ask me in another 10 years. Since Warner Brothers suffered disappointment with the less-than-fantastic performance of Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald, it's possible that the studio is looking to get its Potterverse back on track by finally going through with Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. It's also possible that the studio was willing to spend whatever money it took to convince Radcliffe, Grant, and Watson to join the film, knowing that their involvement would boost audience interest. Though the three stars have done well for themselves outside the Potter franchise, none have reached the same level of success they attained during their time as witches and wizards. With what might have been major money on the table and the promise of even more success, it's possible that Radcliffe, Grint, and Watson really might accept an offer to star in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Still, there's nothing that's actually been confirmed, and Cursed Child representatives in New York reportedly declared on September 5th, there are no plans whatsoever for a movie. If anything comes out to make this rumor more credible, rest assured that we'll fill you in with all the details. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.